Yo guys, if you're having difficulty in the GTKC Cup, or if you are finding yourselves bricking, having RNG issues, etc, then I have the perfect deck for you boys to try out. It is definitely DLV Max worthy, and I've built it so that it can bypass the RNG system. And guess what guys, this build is Rogue Anti-Meta. Don't forget to show your support guys, smash that subscribe button. We is very close to that 20k sub goal my bros, smash that thumbs up button, and let me know in the comments the decks you've already tried to rank up with. Let's go. Yo, what is going on squad? This is Yami Blood, and this is our legacy. Alright guys, today I've got some dank to share with you. This build right here is tried and tested, and we slayed the KC Cub ladder with this. We have three mashups in one deck, Amazonas, Heroic, and my boy Cavalry. Now guys, we did very well with this deck on the KC ladder in my last livestream, and this particular setup seemed to be the most consistent, and somehow it bypassed the Duel Links RNG system. I'm sure you boys will have already seen how strange the RNG system is, and I've started to solve this mystery if you didn't know already. I'm still working on building this series up, so stay tuned and updated. All the current videos and updates so far are in a playlist called Something Really Weird is Going On in Duel Links. Now guys, this deck is pretty straightforward. We can run the Amazonas strategy if we want to banish our opponent's monsters, we can go into a turn 1 cavalry to counter target effects, and we have some staple traps to help us complete OTKs. Fiendish Chains, Canadias, and the Divine Wraths are all tech choices, so you can replace them with other techs if you don't have them. You can also check out my top 10 staple traps video if you want to know what the best staple traps are to go for in Duel Links. I would say Double Fiendish is also a good card to add, but do bear in mind that if you do decide to have a second copy of Fiendish, it is a continuous trap and we are already running Willpower and Onslaught, so Fiendish Chain could end up clogging your back row. Another thing you can do is replace the Heroic Challenger with a Goblin Berg or Marauding Captain. Both of these are good alternatives as it allows you to carry out a double summon in which you summon the goblin or captain, then summon your dark hex seal and go into cavalry right off the bat. The Amazonas spy in this deck is also useful for summoning cavalry because we can special summon spy by revealing any Amazonas monster from our hand and then we just normal summon the hex and go into cavalry. Anyways guys, enjoy these live gameplay clips, you can always refer to my stream to learn the deck, learn the combos and or to see how the deck performed subscribe button smashify my boys thumbs up button demolify notification bells on skied take it breezy and may the heart of the cards guide you my boys peace out oh we can absolutely destroy cyber slash cavalry literally i absolutely love this cavalry Such an amazing boy. Packs a punch. Probably Divine Wrath. Because we will negate whatever Harpy he... Harpy effect he activates. And we'll leave two cards in the hand just in case we need to negate target effects. So if he summons the channeler, which I think he may, with Divine Wrath, probably send Canadia. Yeah, send Canadia. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. And he's got the channeler. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This game is just amazing. <laughs> Alright. So let's think. Cyber Slash. But we just uh, negate and destroy. Egotistical. 
officials from my hand, I activate a spell. Gonna activate the, the effect of Cyber Slash, buddy. Brave enough to do it. Interesting. Ooh. Um, hmm. The good thing about Princess is that she still searches, which means Cavalry can still boost up. Enemy control skis. Hey, hey, loving this deck, man, loving it. Ooh, Evil Eye. Guys, definitely go check out my Evil Eye video. It's a pretty budget deck, and it literally does the job. DLV Max. Trust. It's a nice deck. Uh, ooh. It's gonna be a problem. Actually, nah. Onslaught should be able to banish. But we kinda need it now. Onslaught Princess. X. Did he search for the trap? Probably. Let me get it, 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 let me get it. Come on, let me get it. Don't think so. Check out my face down card. My trap activated. So evil eye, their weakness is if you get rid of the back row. That's their weakness. But if you don't have anything to take care of the back row, it's game. Now the thing is, right? Um, Onslaught can banish her. Of course, we're not opening with it just yet. Medusa might get... Four hundred. From my hand, I activate a step. Serious. You took the bait. I activate a face down card. My continuous trap activates. That's a mistake. I activate a face down card. My trap activates. I think he's gonna get it, man. Storm and Treacherous in Evil Eye is key. Also, just watch my last video and the live stream. If you don't know how to play Evil Eye or if you want to see how it works in today's meta, definitely check it out. A really nice build. And we're only using two Medusas. Boys, if he boosts and we Swordswoman and crash into Medusa, 
How much damage is that to his LP? Ooh. He may have just dropped the axe on his own foot, boys. Ooh. Ooh, skis. Ooh, is that... Ooh, if I... If a wee... Okay. Is it what I think, boys? Well, I cannot just attack Basilisk, right? Right, boys? Do my eyes deceive me? Do we have gamage? If I crash into the Basilisk, it's game skis, right? I don't know why I'm second guessing myself here. Got to be game skis. Because I don't really want Swordswoman to be destroyed. Oh, that's how you do it, boys. <laughs> nice, man. Let me get cavalry. Thank you. My monster's effect activates. Maybe it's a swallow's nest. targeting normal summons harpy lady harpy's hunting ground effect activates targeting that okay we have to save that canadia for um cyber slash Interesting. Interesting. The finish change. Made Channeler back to Channeler instead of Harpy Lady. And then e Elegant Egotist can only be activated if there's a Harpy Lady. That was pretty cool. That was actually pretty cool. We can pretty much secure a... Okay... Give me a princess. Good Let's battle. 
It's time for you to meet your doom. My monster attacks your life points directly. So. <laughs> Roid. This gets better and better. Harpy Channeler's effect activates. Harpy's play Kyroid. I mean, this broski does play Kyroid. It has to be on my matchup. Like, swoop in, Harpy Lady. Only worry is if he's got a target effect back row. Again, we could just destroy Cyber Slash. That's not a problem. But if he's got some sort of a dangerous back row, we can't protect cavalry for long, man. Alright, so, okay, cool. It's not Karma Cut. It's not Karma Cut, which is cool. Oh, no, but it, it still, uh, it still could be. Um, so two thousand two hundred. Let's battle. Prepare to strike. Swallow's nest. My monster attacks immediately. My quick place. Uh. Who might? Now, my monster's effect activates. My monster's yeah, I was kind of thinking to um, summon the princess, search for the onslaught. Summon one Canadian just for defense. Then again, cavalry will drop a hundred. Whatever. Man. What's he trying to do, though? Guys, are we being serious here? Are we being serious? Are you telling me we could have had game if we didn't have this nonce? This nonce, uh, if we didn't special summon it from the grave. Because look, 3700, 1600, that's what, 2100. Uh, that's not great. Shouldn't have uh, summoned the Canadian man. Should have got the game already. I'm thinking to take out Slash. Nah. Uh. Ah, 
There's a reason for why I didn't take out Slash. Can't believe it, just by 100 LP. Double fours, guys. Double fours. What do we think? Malevolent. Oops. Oh, he still got kite. Imagine if he has a Karibo too. Can't be. Thank you, man. Alright, alright. We may have some plays. We can just feed his chain is uh that's cool. Don't have Hey Trunade or Cosmic Cyclone or Mystical Space Typhoon or anything that can get rid of back row. Come on. Don't have it. Don't have it. Target one Dragoon Team once card and just pull them to a special summon it. Alright. I special summon a monster. It's gonna do. We have potential game if he goes into battle phase, guys. We legit have potential game if he goes into battle phase. Okay. We should still have game. Hopefully, anyway. Don't be cosmic. Don't be back row removal. Come on. Don't do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Guys, there is potential... Ooh, but it can't be game now. Only way it can be game now is if we... Uh, they do it. If we top deck a hex seal. Because we can inflict piercing damage here. And we can swordswoman over here. Come on, guys. Heart of the cards. Can we get that? DLV 22. Can we get that rank up to DLV 22? Come on, boys. Give me the hex for gameage. Give me the hex for gameage. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Heart of the cards. Let's go. Flip. Absolute flips. Oh, fuck. That's not game. Uh, ooh. we go into a synchro summon, not synchro summon, XC summon.
Oh, woo power. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Maybe. Maybe there is a way. Maybe there is a way, boys. No, okay. There isn't. I was thinking, uh... Because we got willpower in the grave, if we go into an Xyz, but but we have to detach for it to be in the grave. Dracula, again, we didn't put Dracula in. We need to detach something so that we can uh, willpower. to do I think we may have game though I'm not too sure uh, let me try something so remember we still have a normal summon here And then we also have a battle phase summoning. Let's battle. So, it's macaroni there. I shall take you down. My oh, I didn't activate on slot. I didn't activate on slot. Guys, I didn't activate on slot. We had game. Actually, we still have game. But we still have game, boys. Wow. Wow, skis. Yeah, man, we got game, boys. That's actually amazing. Boys. We got game, boys. <laughs> hey. We got game, skis, boys, skis. Nice aronies!